What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DD TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, all of that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, now this video is for educational purposes, so as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. All right, now this story is coming out of... <laughs> oh my God, it's coming out of Florida. Y'all know where it's coming from. Let's not act new. You know Florida got all these crazy stories. A Florida woman says that she's not going to be silent anymore, and she wants everyone to know that an NFL player gave her an incurable STD. Let's get into it. Miami Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard is facing a hefty lawsuit after a woman came forward alleging he knowingly gave her genital herpes, an incurable sexually transmitted disease. The woman filed the lawsuit anonymously Thursday, October 27th in the Broward County Circuit Court, and she's seeking damages in excess of $30,000. Take a breath. Ma'am, sister. You mean to tell me that this man gave you an incurable sexually transmitted disease and all you want is $30,000? $30,000? This man is a multimillionaire. All you... You know what? Let me go on. Now, some of you all may say, well, isn't Xavier Howard married? No, he has a fiance, a long... They've been engaged for years, uh, Keely Long. They haven't married yet, but she keeps a low profile. Not too low, because she was going off on some people on Instagram, and I'll get into that later. But he had a domestic violence charge with this woman, whom he shares three children with in 2019. Now, the woman who filed the lawsuit said that she first met Xavier Howard in 2018 at a Quest Diagnostic Laboratory where Xavier Howard asked her out on a date, according to the lawsuit. The woman stated that at the beginning of their relationship, he told her he had no STDs, even showing her negative test results. Now, in 2019, Xavier Howard learned he had contracted genital herpes but did not tell the woman, according to the lawsuit. This is all alleged now. Instead, he proceeded to stand by his assertion that he had been tested several times without contracting any STDs. With knowledge of his incurable sexually transmitted disease and without disclosure, the defendant, Xavier Howard, continued to engage in unprotected sex with the plaintiff without informing her of the same according to the lawsuit. After being tested in 2021, the woman found out that she tested positive for the lifelong disease and knew that Xavier Howard was the only person who could have transmitted genital herpes to her, the lawsuit alleges. Now, I want to say this. If you all want to Google this information yourself, go ahead and do it. ESPN wrote an article on it. TMZ had it. And the Miami Herald article, which I keep referencing in the pictures here, you all see that. Google this stuff yourself. And while you're at it, Google the other athletes who've transmitted, sexually transmitted diseases to people too, and they were sued as well because it's a lot of them out there. Now, listen to this, you all. Y'all listen to this. Everyone listen to this because this is how people play dirty. According to the lawsuit, Xavier Howard initially denied having herpes when the woman confronted him about her test results, but eventually admitted to knowing he had it and apologized for passing the disease on to her. Listen to this. Xavier Howard said, and I quote, I guess the lady recorded him. She has him on some kind of way. She got him verbatim saying this. Xavier Howard told the lady, man, I being told you I was sorry for giving it to you, but what can I do now? The damage is done. You keep bringing it up as if it's going to change something. Like your ass can't move on. Take a breath. Did y'all hear that? That's what this man said. Allegedly, according to the lawsuit that's already filed in the Broward County Court, that's what he said. Man, I been told you I was sorry for giving it to you, but what can I do now? The damage is done. You keep bringing it up as if it's going to change something. Like your ass can't move on. You just gave this lady an incurable sexually transmitted disease, allegedly, and she's taking you to court and she wants it to be heard in front of a jury. And that's how you talk to this lady? You just want her to move on after you've given her, allegedly, an incurable sexually transmitted disease. That's what you had to say to this lady? I been told y'all was sorry. Why can't you just move on? Y'all better be careful out here. This man is worth millions, millions. 
He didn't tell the lady, I'll help you with the medical stuff. Make sure you get your medication. Hey, if you need therapy, I'll throw in therapy. Get you some therapy sessions in there. Nothing. Just why can't you move on? I've been told you I was sorry. Y'all better be careful out here. Let me go on. Following the woman's diagnosis, the woman said that Howard made her feel that she had no choice but to have sex with him because she could spread the disease to someone else, according to the lawsuit. Scared and confused and never wanting to do what the defendant, Xavier Howard, did to her to anyone else, the plaintiff did continue engaging in sexual intercourse with Xavier Howard, according to the lawsuit. In April of this year, Xavier Howard signed a new five-year contract worth $50,690,000 in new money through the 2026 season. Now, Xavier Howard is firing back at his accuser in new court documents, calling the woman a scorned ex-lover, and he's insisting that her STD lawsuit against him is the epitome of a shakedown. Now, in court documents, Xavier Howard argued that the woman's suit should be thrown out, and he says the woman has stalked him, threatened him with violence, and tried to extort him for cash. Now, let me say this. Xavier Howard, $30,000 for you is not a shakedown. $30,000 really isn't anything. Yes, you put text messages out of you and her arguing back and forth and her saying she's going to come out to your job and all of this, probably because she's upset because you know you gave her something and then you just kind of toss her to the side when she wasn't having, she said she's not going to have sex with nobody else because she don't want to do to them what you did to her. Allegedly, according to the lawsuit filed in the Broward County Court on October 27th, Oh, this is just my opinion. I just feel that you don't want this to go to court. You want it thrown out of court because you don't want to produce those test results. That's how I feel. Now, before I go on, I want my subscribers to get down in the comments and let me know what you all think about this. Let me know, do you believe what this woman is saying in this lawsuit? Or do you believe what Xavier Howard is saying? Do you think this is the epitome of a shakedown? A shakedown. $30,000. Just let me know what y'all think for the educational part of this show i know some of you all say dawson you always saying this is for educational purpose well it is so let me give you what the center of disease control says there's the website go look it up yourself google your way out all right okay. how common is genital herpes according to the cdc's website genital herpes is common in the united states in 2018 according to the cdc in 2018 which is the same time when Xavier howard met that girl at the quest diagnostic laboratory <laughs> An estimate shows that there were 572,000 new genital herpes infections in the United States among people aged 14 to 49. Take a breath. Did y'all hear that? 572,000 new cases of genital herpes in 2018. Now that was in 2018. We're getting ready to go into 2023 now. You all, no matter what you all are out there doing, who you're doing, why you're doing it, protect yourself. You are your own first line of defense, all right? Now, earlier this year, Xavier Howard's baby's mother, uh, baby's mama, Keely Long, <laughs> girlfriend, longtime fiance for years, when are you going to marry your girl? Longtime fiance, she got on social media and she was hashtagging a lot of things. She was saying hashtag Xavion Howard, hashtag NFL, hashtag Miami Dolphins, hashtag Black Love. Hmm. And then there was one young lady, Rose Gold 7.0, who said she's going to go through some fights, cheating, side baby to get the ring. And then, of course, that didn't sit well <laughs> with baby mama because she came back and said, I'm rich. Quick lesson, stay in your lane and go get some money. You sound miserable, broke, and most likely renting the place you lay your head. It's disgusting. Rule of the day, go get some money. And then she came back and said, LOL, yeah, I'm 66 million on a, and she said some words about her anatomy, but blank. She went on to say, check my page, gonna post my account. Later, babes. Look. Don't post your account. Post you in Xavier's test results. That's what you do. Because you know this girl was telling the truth. That's why you came back with two replies. And you also know that the charge he got for domestic violence in 2019 was when you found that purse in your house that was not your purse. It was a purse he was going to give to another girl. He's been known to cheat. <laughs> like, don't get mad at us because the truth is what it is. 
This is why I tell all my subscribers, all this stuff in the media, social media especially, like all this stuff, hashtag black love, hashtag relationship goals. You don't know what these people are going through. These celebrities, these athletes, these politicians, you all look at the money and the riches and stuff they have, but you, you think they have no problems? Come on, y'all. That's why I'm not moved by famous people and people's money. That don't move me. All of them can get it when it comes to my show. I don't care about that. I'm telling y'all, when you get to a place in your life when you can take care of yourself and you can't be bought and you can tell people the truth, no matter how angry they get, you're at a good place. We're not bowing down to Xavier Howard and his girlfriend, his longtime fiance, because they have money. I'm not. I'm not bowing down to him or any other famous person or per people with money, because if you're doing something wrong and pa intentionally passing out an incurable sexually transmitted disease or a curable one, if you know you got it, it's wrong. And I don't think this lady is wasting her time to file this lawsuit, to go to court, to lie. I just don't believe that. Now, I'm off of this. You all protect yourself. All right. People, I don't care how much y'all think y'all on a lot of y'all are escorts and groupies and all of this stuff. You all got people paying your rent and stuff and you're the side chick or the side dude. You all, you got to be careful out there. As you all can see from this story, people don't care. You're not the only side dude. You're not the only side chick. Come on, y'all. People with money, they have access to a lot of things. They can have somebody on the side in California, have somebody in Miami, have somebody up in New York, somebody up in Seattle, have somebody over in Dubai. Come on, y'all. Money just makes you more of who you are. And if you are a whore, you're going to be a bigger whore than you were before. You all, I'm off of this story. Protect yourself, please. You are your own first line of defense, all right? Go off in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself and each other. Peace. Oh, and also, since we're talking about herpes, there is a young woman on YouTube. She's been on YouTube, I know, for the past six years talking about her experience living with herpes. She is the STD life coach, I believe it is. This is her page. Go over there and check it out, all right? Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself. Peace.